Welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. Today I'm going to be doing some indigo tie-dye on this really large piece of jersey. It's actually an old sheet that I'm upcycling. So I'm going to go over supplies and then I'm going to get into the process. So, oh, like with all of my videos, the supplies are linked down in the description below. I'm using two to three yards of pre-washed cotton fabric, an indigo kit, you can use the jacquard one. I'm using some extra string because there's not a lot of string in the kit, scissors, a bucket for indigo dyeing, drop cloth to keep the area tidy, a stir stick, a dusk mask to wear around the dye, a drying rack, and Synthropol, also known as dyer's detergent. So I'm using a pre-washed piece of fabric. This is an upcycled sheet, as I was talking about. I like to upcycle fabric and then sew garments out of it. It's a great way to keep them from going in the landfill. And I have a lot of videos on my channel like that. So I'm gonna start by folding it in half the short way. And then I'm going to accordion fold it into a long skinny rectangle about an inch and a half or two inches thick. You can kind of play with the thickness of it, but I wanna do one fold forward and one fold backwards to get that accordion folding. And that is going to ensure that I get an equal die distribution. So I'm doing the first half of the sheet and then I'm going to turn it over and continue accordion folding on the other side just stacking each fold on top of each other carefully this process took a little while so just so you know it pays to go slowly and just take your time if you're looking to learn more about dyeing i have a lot of tutorials on my channel and i will link them at the end of this video and if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. So once I've got all of the folds stacked on top of each other, I put some rubber bands around it just to kind of stabilize it. And then I'm going to come in with my string that is on this spool and I'm going to wrap it around as tightly as I can. I start in the middle and I go to one edge and then I go to the other edge on the other side. Here it is completely tied up. Looks great. And now we're gonna go outside to our indigo vat. If you're interested in learning more about indigo and the chemistry of it, you can check out multiple resources down in the description below. All right, so I just taught a workshop and I have a fresh vat going and I'm gonna dry dip it. I just like dry dipping. So I'm gonna put my dust mask on and push all the bubbles to the side or scrape them off. And then I'm gonna go in for the first dip. The first dip I always like to do really fast just to make sure it doesn't get super saturated. And I like to check in between the dips to make sure that the white is still there. I do like to make sure there's still white. So I'm dipping it multiple times and each time I dip it, I am moving the bubbles from the top of the vat. That's the second dip. And I wanna make sure that it's getting saturated but not too saturated. This is something that I've just kind of learned how to do over time and it takes um, practice and it depends on the kind of fabric that you're actually dipping. So I would um, recommend trying many different kinds of fabric with indigo vat dipping and see what you like best. So I'm going to give it a little check and you can see it looks green, which is normal. That is not oxidized yet. Once the oxygen hits the indigo, it will get more blue. So in between dips, I just let it sit for a few minutes, like five minutes or so, and then I'll dip again. This is the third dip, I believe, and you can see how it's starting to oxidize on the outside, but there's still quite a lot of resist on the inside, which is great. 
So it just takes time to dip in the indigo vat. Do not rush it. And, um, you know, you want to stand by and check each time you dip. So it goes in one more time. And this one I'm going to leave for at least a minute. I edited this part heavily because it just took a long time and I wanted to make sure this wasn't a boring part of the video for you guys. But um, just take your time when you're dipping in the indigo vat. This is a hydro vat that I'm working with and there's all kinds of different vats you can work with. I also really like working with Thiox vat. If you take my Skillshare Indigo class, that is a Thiox vat that I'm working with in that class. If you're not a member of Skillshare, you can try it for free with the links in the description of this video. There are many different vats and they all have pros and cons. This one's a hydro vat, like I said, which is the Jacquard kit which is also linked in the description below. The more dips you do, the deeper the blue it will be. So after the final dip, I'm just going to squeeze it out completely and give it one last check and it got a really beautiful resist, really nice. And now I'm gonna let it oxidize overnight. Hi, okay, so we're gonna open up my Shibori now. This is the moment of truth. It's still kind of damp. I just keep all my shibori in this little bin so it's nice and clean. And it's been, it's just been hanging out overnight. It's still pretty wet, but um, it's nice and oxidized. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna have a really beautiful resist. Oh, amazing. That is so pretty. Oh my God, it's gonna be so beautiful. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse this and I'm going to put it in the wash on hot with Centerpol. Centerpol is gonna keep the blues blues and the whites white. All right, here it is. It's been washed and dried. I got a really nice color. It's a big piece of fabric. Let me know what you think you would make with this big piece of fabric. It's a knit and I think it's really a really nice dye. It really came through. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. You can follow me on my social medias at Onyx Art Studio. And be sure to tag me if you try any of the projects. Like I said, I have online workshops on my website. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out the other Indigo tie-dye videos I have on my channel. I have lots and lots of tutorials. So watch these next and be sure to subscribe for a new video every Thursday. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.